Hello and welcome to another video from Natasha Lee. Today I'm going to show you how to produce these beautiful neon water marble nail art nails. Water marbling really doesn't have to be difficult and I'm going to show you my method which works perfectly every time. As always we're going to begin by performing a manicure on our nails which involves removing the cuticles and filing and then we're going to cleanse our nails ready to apply our base coat. Today I'll be using Unt to peel off base coat and if you look in the description there's links of all the products and where you can buy them. Apply to all 10 nails and allow to dry. Next we're going to apply a white base colour. I'm using Colour Club French Tip and the white is to help the colours really pop when you actually do the water marbling. You don't have to use the white but you will find that those colours just don't look as vibrant. Really take your time applying your first layer of colour so that you minimise any mess and you get a really nice finish. If you do get any on the skin then just use a clean up brush dipped in nail polish remover or acetone to remove any of the excess polish from the skin. Now we're going to apply a liquid latex barrier to the skin around the nails and this is to help with the clean up later. I recommend applying this very generously when you're water marbling and take it up to the first knuckle on the finger just to avoid having to do too much clean up work later. Apply to all 10 nails and allow to dry. Now we're going to create our water marble design. For this I'll be using All That Jazz, the Margarita. All That Jazz, the Cosmopolitan. All That Jazz, the Jack Rose. Seattle, Big Yellow Taxi and Lottie London as if. We'll also be using some plastic back pads and cotton buds or q-tips, a needle point dotting tool and finally a glass dish, ramkin or a cup just filled with tap water. Give your nail polishes a shake and undo the lids ready and then simply just drop one drop at a time into the water. Try and apply each drop of nail polish into the centre of the previous drop. If you find that your nail polish isn't spreading, the most likely cause is the nail polish to be honest. To achieve this design I had to try a number of my neon polishes to see which ones worked best in the water. I also find that regular tap water works absolutely fine at a room temperature of about 18 degrees, but if you do live in a hard water area it might be worth trying Evian bottled water instead. Now we're ready to create our pattern, take your needle point dotting tool and starting at the centre of the design draw out top and bottom, then simply go side to side alternating, working your way across the design. When you've found an area of pattern that you like, simply move the bowl ready to apply your finger to the water. Now I'm only applying one finger at a time because I want to actually particularly pick each part of the design, but you can actually apply four fingers at a time to the water if you wanted to save the design. When you're ready to apply your fingernail, do it at an angle pointing down slightly place into the water and then hold it there and then using your q-tip or cotton bud clean off the surface of the water to remove the remaining polish. Once the surface of the water is clean remove your nail and then using your needle point dotting tool just separate the polish around the cuticle area. Repeat this process for the remaining nails. If you want to finish your water marble nail art design quicker, then it might be worth applying more than one finger to the design at a time. If you do have any accidents with the nail polish like I did here, don't worry about it, it won't ruin the design. 
just carry on as per normal and I'll show you how you can still use this to create beautiful nail art. Once the water from around the nails has dried, it's time to remove your liquid latex. And just be careful getting it off at first, but then it's really easy to pull off and really does minimise the cleaning afterwards. If there's any remaining areas with a little bit of polish around the cuticle, simply take a chisel brush dipped in nail polish remover or acetone and clean off. You'll probably have some polish underneath the finger as well if you haven't applied liquid latex under the nail, so just use some acetone or nail polish remover on a plastic back pad to clean off carefully. If you have any areas on the nail where the white is showing through, simply take a fine nail art brush and one of the colours of polish and just cover up the little areas of white with the fine detail brush. Now it's time to apply a slick of top coat to the design and I'm using Setch Feet. Apply to all 10 nails and allow to dry. Once dried, it's time to finish off the final look with just a little bit of cuticle oil. And here's the finished water marble nail art design. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos every week.